Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be looking at how we can properly align eyebrows on our portrait in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative, I like the my name. So first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without too much time, let's jump into it. So here is the model we are going to be using and we are going to be starting by creating an empty layer. This empty layer we are going to be using it to, to draw a pattern which we are going to use as a guide. Then we are going to rename this to guide. Pick up our brush tool and uh, we have to make it tiny in size. We have to make it tiny in size. Let's say one or four picks is okay. Then we have to start drawing this pattern. We have to draw the pattern. Let's say if I start from here based on where the hair ended, I need to start and drag it this way. When I get to this point, I turn it down. Then when it get to here, I stop. I, I can take it up like so, then stop here, then go this way. Then stop here, then turn down, down, down. And at the top here. Now we now have a guide here that we can follow in drawing this thing. Let's go. Let's say, though it might not be that straight anyway, but it's just a guide. Let's try and straighten it up. Let's if you want to use it, we'll use from here. So this is a guide for the right eyes. So we have to pick up our lasso tool and select this part. Those that are good in pen tool can also use pen tool to do this. Then we have it selected. Then we'll disable this layer. Then we'll have the selection there. Then we can go to the main image. Then we'll right click and feather with two. Then we we'll have to use Ctrl C to copy that part. Then Ctrl V to paste it. Now we we'll have a part here, left here. So this is just a pattern which we are going to used for the main eyebrow. Now we are going to rename this to as main eyebrow. Main eyebrow. Okay, let's say main eyebrow. Let's enable this image again. The next thing we'll do is put on the guide again and make another selection. And this time around, this selection that we are making, we are going to use it for the downside. We are going to use it for filling the downside. Just follow the pen. But this time around, we are not going to secure the top. We are going to secure the downside. Now we have this area selected. We have to go to the image, make sure the image is selected, and right click and feather with two. Then use Ctrl C to copy, then Ctrl V to paste. Then we have this layer which is if we if disable this now we have another layer even if we disable the top we have this other layer underneath here then we are going to enable it again and when we pick our move to we can disable this and we'll push this layer now that is done let's name rename it as bottom fill we are going to rename it as bottom fill then for this bottom field, if you disable and enable, you not know the difference because they is still in the same position on the image. So we have to select it and take our move tool and notch up. Use our direction key to notch up. Then if you take a look at this area, you can see that something, you can notice that something is happening here. That means it's coming through its you notice what happened here then it's coming through it's what we are going to do we are going to position it to our liking to our preference then we have to then we'll go to our eraser tool and reduce the brush size and wipe the remaining parts or well, make sure the bottom field is selected before you wipe then we have it like this we no longer have the excess on top, you can only have it here, so you can just wipe this area. 
so if you disable and enable the effect is going to place on this is going to make the eyebrow well aligned then if you take a look at this now we have some stuff on the image which we is not supposed to be here we can pick our stamp tool and make sure the image is selected then go to the remaining side and see those little hair that is left behind then we we'll just fill them up like this so we'll have it like this then if we disable this button fill you notice that we have the roughness of the hair it's still there why after the selection we we'll have it removed we have to put on the guide again and make another selection pick our lasso tool and go to the top side and start the selection by the edge here then we'll go in all the way let's enable the main image and pick our move tool then nudge downward so as you are nudging you are going to be checking under and see the excess there once the excess is out you can use your eraser tool to remove it then i think it's okay like this then we can just look for take our eraser tool and wipe off the remaining parts that is the SS part then we have it like this you have to select the first one and the last one before the image then use your control G to place them in a group now we are going to start another one for the left let's say we are going to be starting by adding an empty layer this empty layer we are going to use it to draw the pattern again because if we use that if we if we decide to copy the other pattern it's not going to fit this other side because most time it comes different but we have to put on the guide and see the size so as not to make mistake let's put on this guide and so we are going to be using it as a guide also so as not to make mistake so we have to make comparison with the sizes so we have to start here and pull it up and when it's getting to this area when the hair is up you dare put it down like so i think it's okay like this then let's start from here from this point if you measure from here now you notice that this eye is a little bit down this light eyes is up so we have to take it a little bit above this eyebrow then take it to this direction when it's going if you get to where the eyes the eyebrow stop you turn it down and merge it to this other guy and you can just lock it up here then i think i think it's okay this way we can just go ahead like this let's put up this we can close this group pick up your lasso tool and and start from here for the bottom have to do it this way then go in again this is for the bottom fill you have to stop here then make sure the image is selected right click and feather with two then use your control c to copy then use control v to paste now when i have this then let's rename this as guide for organizing purpose so this is the guide this is the bottom field bottom field so we have this as the guide then this as the bottom field we have to select the image and use our lasso to to secure this pattern So have it secured if you right click feather with two and use your make sure your image is selected use your control c to copy then control v to paste then this we are going to rename this as main 
I bro left. I say men I men I bro left with L okay then if you disable this you are not going to notice anything until this image is no longer there that is this we disable it notice that the one is the one that's inside the pattern as well we are disabling then enable it again and you can now go to this bottom field and select the bottom field and take your move to and push it up the essence of doing this is to remove all this mess all this mess around all this rough hairs around there so you have to make sure the main eyebrow the main eyebrow is on top then pick up the bottom eyebrow and push it up until you see until you no longer see these rough hairs around and just push it up like this i think it's okay like then we can we can use our stamp to to fill up these remaining ones so as not to make mistakes let's pick up our stamp to hold out on that bottom fill and click select and just fill so i think it's okay then we have the downside secured now we are going to create the top side selection so we have to create the top side we have to make selection of the top side the image need to be selected and pick up your lasso tool and start from here the top side so we are going to secure the top side you have to make it as straight as it can be because this guide is just a guide just to guide you so we can stop here and just give it a little space then come down here back then make sure the image is selected right click and feather with two then use your control c to copy then control v to paste then take your move to and start pushing it down but make sure the main eyebrow must be above it then this should be let's rename this to be top fill let's name to be top fill so we have it like this they can now push it down to hide the rough part of the eyebrow So as you can see the rough side is hidden now let's remove this guide and see what is happening here if you move this thing now if you move this thing now you notice that we have some pattern showing up here so we have to go to our eraser to and use it to blend up this area so it's no longer that visible then if you check this thing i think it's a kind of done it's done so you see how neat the eyebrow is neatly aligned let's see how it looks okay let's just check before and after first let's check before and after we have to hold our alt down and click on this image notice that we we'll see the before and this is the after this is before and this is after this is before this is after you have to select the main eyebrow then go to your brightness and contrast then reduce the brightness and voila <laughs> that is it you can see we are having it like something that is drawn like something that is drawn just reduce the brightness and you are good to go let's say let's say take it this way for instance you can see reduce the opacity later to make it a little bit dull let's hit okay for minus 52 on this for brightness then let's go to the other one and go to the main eyebrow image adjustments brightness and contrast then have to reduce it a bit to match the other one it must not be that minus 50 or there but let's say this guy should be a little bit dark because it's on the light area of so this is it let's check it again let's see the before and after let's hold down our odds and click this is before and this is after this is before this is after there's something we need to correct here if you take a look at this edge and this edge it's a kind of too strong then we have to blend them with our eraser tool 
make sure the main eyebrow is selected for the right because this is the right side then you have to reduce the strength of the brush and erase can be just removing it this way or you can just click on top just to remove the sharpness there then you can see increase the size of the brush to make it feather it more then we have it this way and then if you go to the other one let's say we have to put them in a group also the first guide and the top few which is the last one then use your control G to place them in a group then we have the first group and the second group so now what we are going to do now is as long as this is selected as long as this main eyebrow is selected you can go ahead and wipe the strong edges so that is it have to blend it increase the brush size more and do the blending so i think that is it so if you take a look at this image now you notice that there's a huge difference from the original image which is let's say let's take a look at it again let's zoom in and take a very good look at it again and say this is let's hold on our art and click on this this is before very rough after well organized before rough and after I believe that is it for today's video. If you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us where it has helped, the area it has not, and the area we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video, Creative Pro. Keep on creating. Please stay creative. Keep creating. For now, bye. See you in the next video. Bye.